Hello fans and friends, welcome to another video. My name's Keir Smith and today I'd like to share with you my review and appreciation for a great song that can be found on Marillion's fourth studio album, Clutching at Straws, and that song is called At That Time of the Night, in brackets, The Short Straw. Clutching at Straws is a concept album based around the story of the character Torch, who is a frustrated writer blaming the world for his problems while burying himself in booze and drugs. The self-obsessed type, hitting out at anyone and everything. And the lead singer of Marillion at the time, lovingly known as Fish, said, I created the Torch character as a kind of alter ego. I think it was to disguise some of the excess in the lyrics that I was talking about because I felt guilty. And the song starts with a jolting piano chord, Pete Trueva's throbbing bass, and these wonderful atmospherics created by Mark Kelly's moody synthesizers, the kick of a bass drum, and Fish comes in with a fragile vocal as he mutters, it was a wedding ring, destined to be found in a cheap hotel, lost in a kitchen sink, or thrown in a wishing well. And as Fish comes in, Steve Rothery plays superb guitar, letting the notes ring out and progressively moving down the fretboard, playing slow, wonderful, weeping and wailing guitar parts and all of these sounds and textures help to contribute to the late night feel of the song and Rothery's guitar then gives way to Mark Kelly's lovely keyboard touches that provide the hook that underpins the song and then Fish re-enters on the first verse as he sings at that time of the night when street lights throw crosses through window frames paranoia roams where the shadows reign oh at that time of the night and this wonderful imagery is actually based on a true story whereby Fish was alone in a hotel room and he thought that the shadows on the wall looked like crucifixes or crosses because of the way that the street light hit the window frames and reflected into his room. And Fish said of the lyrics, somebody had brought some coke down to the studio and I ended up doing a couple of lines and then suddenly I was in a bedroom. There was no alcohol, I couldn't sleep and I ended up writing most of that lyric that night. I just felt really alienated. On to the next verse. At that time of the night, your sense is tangled in some new perfume. Criticism triggers of a loaded room. Oh, at that time of the night. And playing this torch character as he does throughout this song and the album, the character's frustration spills over into a sincere cry as the next part roars. So if you asked me, how do I feel inside? I could honestly tell you, we've been taken on a very long ride. And if my owners let me have some free time someday, with all good intention, I would probably run away, clutching the short straw. And these lyrics are very much autobiographical too. Fish felt very trapped by the never-ending touring cycle that the band were going through on the back of the fame and the huge following that Marillion had amassed after the success of their previous album, Misplaced Childhood. And after that, a brilliant melodic guitar solo comes in with that keyboard hook going round. Steve Rothery really plays his guitar. He doesn't waste a note. And as the next verse comes in, the lead guitar continues a little lower down in the mix. But it's worth following because it weaves a tangled web around Fish's desperate lyrics. So good. At that time of the night, when questions rally in an open mind, summon all your answers with an ice cube chime. Oh, at that time of the night and pretend you're off the hook with the telephone your confidence wounded in a free fire zone brilliant words and then the song takes an almost biblical turn as if torch feels utterly helpless and is now looking for intervention from a higher power as he roars so if you ask me where do i go from here my next destination even isn't really that clear so if you join me and get on your knees and pray I'll show you salvation. We'll take the alternative way, clutching the short straw. And then the song goes full on stadium rock. The band are all in as we crash into the next section. Torch lets out one more drunken cry when he sings, if I had enough money, I'd buy a round for that boy over there, a companion in my madness in the mirror, the one with the silvery hair. And at this point, Ian Mosley plays some brilliant drum fills at the speed and sound of a machine gun, coupled with Rothery's rock guitar. The sound is amazing. And Torch continues, and if some kind soul could please pick up my tab, and while they're at it, if they could pick up my broken heart. And that vocal is belted out with such force and it fits the narrative so well. 
the drunken outburst, the self-pitying fool, woe is me, absolutely brilliant. And then the final section of the song, the repeated shout of warm, wet circles, which refers to the previous song on the Clutching at Straws album that goes by that name and all of the different connotations that a warm, wet circle brings from a mother's kiss to bullet holes, but perhaps more fittingly, the stain left by an empty glass at the bar. And then the song fades out with what sounds like the distant sound of a female voice ushering the words warm wet circles and that's your lot. At that time of the night it's such a powerful song it creates different moods and feelings during its six minutes plus stay. A brilliant piece of writing from Fish and a real band effort too. Each member contributes famously throughout the song and it's currently my favourite Marillion song. What do you think too at that time of the night? What do you think to the Clutching at Straws album? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll get back to you and we'll start a conversation. Please give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. There'll be lots more to come. Thanks as always for watching. See you next time.